Good day, sirs. Hi, y'all. All right, all right. Settle down, find your seats. And welcome to Rumble's intense training of programmable lab suits. I'm your instructor, Rumble, and I'm also the dean of the school and the founder. We know who you are, Rumble. And we're here today to talk about what it takes to pilot a mech. Now any nincompoop can weld a couple of pieces of metal together and hop inside. But the real artistry comes when you program your mech. And so that's what I intend to teach. Now here you see an empty command line, just like the ones you'll find in the cockpit of your own mechs. Notice the six slots. That's where we put the ultra-important commands to make the mech turn and move. And blow stuff up? Yes, Ziggs. And blow your enemies to smithereens. Yes! <laughs> now here is an example of all the movement programs your mech can be programmed with. Notice they each have a different color and symbol in their top left. This represents the core energy associated with the program. Metal, fire, electricity, and computery. Do you mean computational? I mean computery. And while these are the movement commands, each core energy also has a turn and an attack program associated with it. To make things easier for you, I put these programs into command cartridges that I've abbreviated to command cards. As an example, here are the three computery command cards. Now, cards alone don't do diddly. You make your mech operational by slotting these command cards into your command line. That looks like this. In this example, my mech would go forward one step, turn 90 degrees, and then fire a ripsaw. And then take another step forward. See? You always read from left to right. And if there's nothing in a slot, that's okay. You just skip over it. Now every couple minutes, I'll provide the class with a selection of command cards. You will each take one and add it to your command line. But keep in mind, you don't start over from scratch. You build upon what you've already programmed. So now this mech is even more powerful. But by itself, this would make each mech pretty lackluster. So I've augmented each of these command cards so that, as long as they're built from the same core energy, they can stack on top of each other, up to three deep. Wait, 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 wait. What? In this example, we have a command line with a fuel tank. That's a fire command card that makes you turn. Now on your next turn, you could put this blaze in front of or behind the fuel tank. But since they're both fire cards, you also have the option of putting the blaze on top of the fuel tank. When you do this, you lose whatever functionality was on the below card. So here, it would no longer turn, but instead get a super powerful blaze that will let you travel two steps instead of one. And here, we've overwritten it a third time. Now it's no longer going to make your mech move forward, but it's an ultra mega powerful flame spitter. Can you stack more than three cards in a slot? Great question, but no. Can you jimmy a new commander card beneath the stack? Or do you only put the new commander cards on top? You gotta place them on top. Daisy that. Anything else? Well, that's it then. Let's go outside and we'll begin the final exam. Wait, that's it? Yep, it's an accelerated curriculum. There's other stuff like taking damage and customizing your mech with schematics, but honestly, you'll learn that stuff as you go. Seriously? Class dismissed. I'll meet you outside for your final exam, and we can do diplomas. Inconceivable. Uh, <laughs> <laughs>